Okay. Hey, what up? <laughs> Uncle Big Bug, can of worms. Oh yeah, we're singing now. I'm fucking an idiot. Okay, this is uh, this is Danny with me here, co-owner of Blanked with me. Oh, and uh, shit. let's give him a round of applause. What uh. a good guy. What a great guy. What a fantastic, amazing guy. Shout out to Prime because, uh, you know, I like this stuff like I'm a child. It's pretty good. It's yeah. pretty good. So, uh, Reminds me of the ice cream man. So episode four, uh, I don't really, I purposely didn't tell Danny anything uh, before we sat down. Oh, what the hell we're going to talk about or anything. So first thing with Toxic today, later today, um, we're going to drop some clothes. We're going to have a Whippersnapper and Wade Hogs pre-order. Should be kind of like the the last um, kind of pre-order thing. We're not going to do a bunch, but since ABS is coming out, we're not going to do a whole bunch of the standard baits anymore. So if you guys want to get on there, it'll be a pick your color with our standard colors, bluegill and like D-bag and that stuff. Um, so that's going up today. And we got a bunch of super slow sync uh, glides that we've done before. Um, those are going to go up uh, this afternoon evening also. Um, so besides that, new from Toxic. Uh, that's probably it today. Oh, we got the limited drop. If you guys don't know about Toxic Limited, that's like my little offshoot. So we could do stuff that wasn't really super fishing based, um, and use kind of like a different stuff, not the normal garments. So uh, we're uh, we did hats. What do I got? The wool hat on. This is the gray wool. We have three colors in the wool, and then a five panel camper with the limited script across the front. So. Uh, we'll be doing some more cool stuff uh, with that, too. But for now, that's what we got cracking. So, and then if you guys haven't jumped on the Swimbait Underground, Golden Shiner Drop, get on that thing. It's not the full moon. I'm tired of reading that. It's not even close. No. You can check the other one out. Um, and then shout out to Fish O Magazine. What up, G? I got this in the mail. Super sick mag if you guys haven't seen it. It's super, uh, like, artsy style mag. I really like this. I really like... Uh, the Scales and Tails mag, too. I always have one of those. Those are on my coffee table, but uh, I just got this, so we thought we'd say thank you. And, uh, yeah, so what the fuck, Danny? Why are you here today on Uncle Bing Bong's Can of Worms? I didn't tell you why, but I'm sure you'll <laughs> uh, I'm sure you'll, you'll think of something to say. Well, we mean to sit down and, uh, and, and do an episode regardless, but, uh, yeah, um, uh, moving forward with, with Blankton Ship 2024. Oh, right. sorry. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. I think uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna start getting ready for the PCS show. I think that's that's one of the one of the next steps we're gonna be yes, doing. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. Get stuff mocked out for that. I think we're gonna do a sale on uh, current inventory of the apparel. So uh, stay tuned for that. I got to get my lazy ass out and uh, yeah, we have a bunch of that. inventory. You guys should check that out. We got a, a a whole bunch of cool designs that have been back stock. We haven't really highlighted like. Uh, we got the, what's the one called with the bobber and the worms? What do we call that? Uh, memories? Uh, uh, yeah, memory, memory lane. lane. There you yeah, go. yeah, because me lane. and my son went out. It's like bobbers and worms. Yep. It says blanked on the back. It's one of my favorite shirts. But we'll have those up, too. So And they'll be cheap, so we could do some more cool stuff this year. We're sitting on a just freaking back stock of graphics that we haven't done anything with. We need to get rid of the back stock that we currently have to yeah. move on to the next stuff so we can make some space. So. Yeah, for sure. Make for sure. some uh, make some deals with those. So, um, um, so what's going on with you, Danny? We don't see you much around the shop anymore. What's turn going into on a, with you, bro? Turn into a stay at home dad for dogs and skunks and sk- <laughs> and, and sk- dads yeah. and skunks. Fucking ridiculous! It's rough being an adult, huh? It's it's weird, dude. Um, Thirty four years old and finally an adult is weird. Yeah. It's so what's weird. up? You got you got baits going. You were around the shop checking our baits out. <laughs> hanging out with toxic and now you have your own factory and workers very very small <laughs> set of work, workers just being my own fingers and limited yeah. shit and just trying to trying to get better with painting really more than anything that's that's where really the fun's been it's been cool uh getting some small batches of stuff sent from other builders to paint what's up with the meatball just a crawler i started messing with and i think i finally uh finally got the ratio right on the buoyancy and shit because it seems like it's hard as hell to get resin to, to float correctly when you got all these wings and everything that are 
heavy. It makes it want to sink and not sit right. And I think I finally figured out a little bit of a mixture that'll uh, be able to run right. Kind of put a little teaser up, teaser swim vid up. See what what people thought of it. I, mean, I think it swims good. I think it's you got to get well. You got to see what the fish think, right? Exactly. I mean, exactly. Yeah. What do these fish think of this crawler? Yeah, I'm excited to fish that thing. Um, I've been interested in trying to do a bluegill crawler for a little bit. It's just. Mm-hmm. Something that's different. Something that's different for for myself. A little more subtle, yeah. Yeah. Or than the one I throw. I like to throw the fucking ratchet and clank. That pompadour is the fucking deal, though. That pompadour to me is still... It's super loud for a lot of guys. If you guys don't know, we're talking about the pomp and the mega pomp. But uh, it really is loud. And, you know, I was talking to some people that fish crawlers, and they're like, oh, man, you know, like sometimes I throw it when it's it's slick or, you know, and I'll, I'll just let it blurp around. I literally throw that shit when it's like blowing so hard, it's hard to hold the boat. And I'm reeling it with like a seven to one, and it's like, <laughs> and they come out of the water like it's freaking peacock bass, dude. So maybe that's why I get bit on that super loud one because I'm fishing in the Atlantic Ocean. Um, that pompadour is consistent, though. That, that's the other thing. That thing is just. You can't break those nah, things, bro. No. Nah. And that thing is buoyant as shit. It runs fucking true right out of yeah, the box. You're going to do anything to tweak it. Not only that, but like, I mean, shit, a couple years ago, that was, that was fun as shit just being in the boat with you, just watching you crush on that fucking thing. Uh, they still eat it, yeah. So, um, just something yeah. fun. I yeah, just, yeah, I just want to cool. mess with It's something. like a new hype thing, you know? Uh, there's a lot of people catching on them. That's cool. It's an old, super, super old design. For musky, right? For just fishing. Yeah. I mean, um, dang, and I, the, the crazy crawler was a heading, and that was like the size of a regular pompadour or smaller. That's. Super old bait, super great bait. Mm-hmm. Um, it's an old design. It's a cool design. Um, I can't believe like the 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 price they're going for, which is awesome. I mean, for the builders, but man, that's a lot. I don't like tuning them. So yeah, no, I, um, trust me, I feel it. And that was that was another <laughs> thing that I've been. It, it's a once you figure out the tune, it's a little easier. But if you don't understand the tune of it, it it's fucking like that uh, tune, just like that tune, and it crawls like this. <laughs> Hey! The mini, the little blurper, the little blurper, the little blurp, blurp. But oh. we got a, we got another batch of these coming. I know we did one, one batch of the striker shad. That's mine and Caesar's collab bait through blanked. Um, we did one drop through, um, through blanked through the toy drive. That was the first initial release. We haven't done one since. But uh, me and Caesar will both be painting this next batch. Um, yeah, we've been moving some around. stuff around. The new one that we got, um, you know, I think will be the 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 best version yet yeah. but uh yeah it's a cool little bait like danny had the the body done up i put some tweaks on it um so it's just fun building new stuff you know mm-hmm. offering uh, something that's a different shape together. and different swim than like my mini chucha glide so mm-hmm. to speak that mini chucha really likes to swing super wide or you know it's super versatile this is chops a little more mm-hmm. um but uh all right so uh so you can't speak bad, you know, I'll <laughs> hit you with the sensor <laughs> if you say some dumb shit. But uh, so what's up with this uh, with this hangover line through? What do you have to say about that? Well, Danny, so what do you got to say about that, bro? So I got to say about it is this. It's not it's not a bait for the beginner that doesn't understand how to make something run correctly. It is. It's a bait that isn't something that you're going to throw right out of the box unless you get the super fast sink because it seems like that's the one that's running true right out of the box initially. The the slow sink and everything else doesn't. But for guys that have been fishing huds and everything else for a long time, whether it's straighten your tail because it got kinked or whatever, boiling the tail makes a huge difference. But a lot of guys don't want to mess with anything. So something that they buy right out of the pack, they want to be able to throw it right out of the pack. So I understand the frustration, but... I don't think that it's a useless bait if you take the time to make it run right. correctly. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ready to hold court on on, I don't know. on, on the on the consistency because you know it sounds like there's some baits out there catching fish. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes you know consistency issues can come from the factory, especially with the soft bait. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's a it's a lot of hoopla in the industry. It's kind of crazy, you know, especially when there's been proven baits that are the same uh, style. Mm-hmm. that are out and available mm-hmm. at almost the same cost. But um, I'm sure it catches fish. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, people just like to wave their arms around. I thought maybe you would slip up and say something funny. Trying, but you trying didn't, not but to. But you didn't say anything funny. <laughs> so 
I, I, I think it's know? I think it's more so the internet warriors that just want to bitch about everything more more than anything. And I, and then you got these, it's like you got these YouTube battles between the Googans and everybody else that are just calling pot calling the kettle black with everything. It's like I think they're doing a good job on hyping stuff up. I, they are. It, it seems they like are. you know, in fool's beef in the rap game, they're like, yo, fuck that fool. And then like next year, they're like, we are best friends. We're gonna we, do a feature together. We hang out every day. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, I think uh, a lot of it has to do with like the industry um, hype, you know, like playing it up. Yeah, and I mean, but, like uh, you said, the hype shit. I mean, that goes a long ways. They sold a lot of baits. Yeah, they so did. shout out to Six Sense. You guys sold a lot of baits. Hopefully, uh, most of them are, are are doing good. I'm sure they are. Mm-hmm. If they're not, you know, I'm sure you'll handle it. You know, right? <laughs> um, so I mean, you I hope. don't know. I've never done anything that large. So you know, I, I've learned that. Right? I've learned to like to exist in my own reality. Mm-hmm. So, like, for me to put myself into the shoes of someone that's 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 running a company at that large of a scale, um, I don't know what that entails. And I'm sure no one wants to put out bad product, you know, I don't think mm-hmm. so. So I'm sure they'll remedy the solution. Um, you know, the, the, the industry has been the way it is for forever. Mm-hmm. Forever! So, you know, it's just... It is. It is what it is. It doesn't make things right or wrong. But uh, that was a lot of hype this week. Just like what else? Like what else is relevant right now? A lot of stuff is starting up this year. I know a lot of pros um, chose different pro tours this year. Yeah, a little different. Yep. A little different swing. A lot of pros decided to go this way or that instead of one direction. Uh, probably because what's going on in the industry. And, and I don't mean anything specific. Just kind of like what's going on in the industry is always what's going on in the world, right? The mm. world's crazy right now, bro. The world's crazy. Yep. We got election year and shit. So um, I think it just follows. I think it just follows the rest of the crazy ass earth. You know, I, I try not to put too much. I Like I said, I just try to exist to my own little reality. I don't, I, I, I've had strong opinions in the past. At this point, I just like to wake up and, and breathe. <laughs> well, shit. Yeah. I mean, you know, going like, forward. I appreciate my... My place in uh in the universe. Yeah. So I'm going forward, you know, with with 2024 and shit, you got your your ABS stuff coming. I mean, that's that's fucking that's badass, man. It's that's been, co- that's cool. I'm really like everything's riding on the ABS. So I hope it works. If it doesn't work out, you know, uh, I'll if you guys are hiring, let me know. <laughs> um, if you have a boat, I'll work on your boat. That's it. But um, yeah. So. That's what I mean. There's a lot. Like I learned a lot. I learned a lot about um, the industry once I became into the industry or like, you know, you learn a lot when you step into someone's shoes. Um, so, so I just kind of watch from a distance and, uh, and try to take notes from what's happened before, but you really can't do anything, right? Like it isn't like, Oh, they had a made in China mm-hmm. or whatever. Like you could have stuff made, you know, wherever you think it's made. And, and and there could be hiccups in the process, right? It's just uh-huh. part of owning a business, I think. Hopefully, you, you know, you keep the hip, you know, the hiccups to a minimum. But um, that's all yeah. learning process, and there's no blueprint that you're given by anybody else. You have to create your own blueprint with your brand. Yeah, yeah. You know? So ABS is uh is gonna be cool. I prefer. I really like ABS baits. I don't really have a problem no. with with people, you know, with ABS baits buying them, fishing them. I like handmade baits too. Like we're gonna make handmade baits. Mm-hmm. We're not just like gonna stop doing it so it'll still be like most of our stuff here just uh you know i just need a break and i don't know i don't need a break that's an excuse i'm saying that i really like the direction i'm taking toxic Mm -hmm. so i know a lot of people don't agree with it um but i that's the way i want to go like because then i could do more stuff and 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 actually not die you know like keep progressing so so I like the way it's going. I hope I have a lot of ABS baits that are um, good. You know, it's uh, I'm excited. I should be able to fly around a little bit, film. We're going to put them in small stores. Um, not small, so to speak, but we're not going to go with any, like, big online retailers. We'd rather just retail through shops and through ourself. Um, just took – I've always taken notes from, like, people that, and you know, whether it be the, the music industry or anything else, like – it's 2024. We could do it ourselves. Mm-hmm. Um, not to say there's not value in other places, but I'm kind of like a hands-on guy, obviously. So I'll just do everything I can myself. My website, my freaking 
Well, I have photo shoot in the liquor store. <laughs> You I know, with dope. my son. It's it right down the dope. street. That's the liquor yeah. store we go to uh, every time we fish. So that's like some hometown shit right there. Um, but yeah. So um, also, we're going to get something together with like Jack or somebody. We talk about some, you know, some forward facing debate. Uh, I don't know if there's a debate, but, you know, you know what I seen recently was did, did you see that video on Fisherman's Warehouse of? Bobby ranting. No, the only thing I've seen from Fisherman's Warehouse is the same dude they keep posting picture of that was like robbing every fucking store every every other day or some shit. Oh yeah, yeah, they got yeah. They, they finally, I think, got him. Yeah. I I think I saw a, st- uh, a still shot of of Bobby. I, I never watched Barrick, the video though. Barrick went off on some punch and shit like about why a fisherman's better. He's just like yelling at the camera. I fucking love that <laughs> shit, bro. He's just like telling you how it is. You know what I mean? Like, there's no like, yeah, you know, I, you know, I can. He's like, no, you're fuck. You know, this is how it is, bro. Because they spend the time in the water. So, you know, the biggest lesson from that is like, um, isn't if you're good or bad. It's just like, do you want to get better? Well, like one of the best fishermen, most fanatical fishermen I've ever known, is telling you that the best guys he knows spend time fishing mm-hmm. all the time. So. Um, it, I, I'm always motivated to get out there. I, you know, this year is supposed to be the year that I start fishing again. So I got a lot of free time. So, and you can't get that time back. I mean, I, I think dimension just made like a pretty cool, uh, inspirational post a few days ago talking about like, you know, guys making the statement about, you know, like, Oh, those fish aren't going anywhere. Blah, blah, blah. You're not missing much, blah, 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 blah. But his, you know, his point being like, yeah, might not be missing much in terms of a bite being great or whatever it is, but that's time you can't get back. So if you're making excuses not go, which I've done a lot the last few years, I've found myself in in times where I've made excuses not to go rather than go, and it's fucking shitty and it's poor excuse because I shouldn't be doing that. But like, he's right. I mean, you you can't get that time back. So I mean, if you yeah. get an opportunity to go fish, fucking go fish. You know, like, well, you ain't got to tell me, bro, because yeah. I've spent. Everybody knows me when I get a chance to fish, I'm fucking fishing. Dude. Yeah. I just sit on my boat and watch that shit. I don't even have any other place to be. Now my son's an adult and I'm fucking free. So I'll definitely be out there wherever yeah. I could get on a motherfucking boat. But um Yeah, so it's almost twenty minutes. I was trying to have a, like some, you know, enlightening conversation here, but <laughs> didn't really pan out. <laughs> Fuck. Um, I'm trying to think of some Buddhism type of uh, thoughts. No, nah, some Zen. Some, some Zen, zen yeah. thoughts. Here's some Zen thoughts, like I told my son. If you're like a young cat watching this, they don't tell you that you could just make your own money. You know what I'm saying? So remember that as a as a fucking career choice. Like you could work for yourself. You could work for somebody else and it's awesome too. Don't get me wrong. I don't have any, you know, some people like to just do that. But uh, you could definitely bet on yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, that's a good bet because nobody's going to work harder for you than you. So um, yeah. I try to tell my son that a lot. But besides that, uh, anything else? Anything exciting? Anything random to say? What's your favorite song right now? Dance Dance Revolution? Mm. Gavin Newsom's Justin Bieber hasn't put out any new tracks recently, so I've just been going shit. back on some of the old shit. You know? Lil Wayne's been lacing some features, bro. If you guys didn't sit here in Lil Wayne, he's been he's been fucking fools up on the features. I wouldn't even want to be on a track with him right now. <laughs> I just wish I could rap. I, I tried on Nick's podcast. It didn't work very well. <laughs> Fuck, come on, bro. All right. Well, so what's next? I'm gonna. I'll figure something else. To talk about. I think the next one I'm gonna do about my favorite non-toxic baits and my favorite toxic baits. I'll do something to get some content up. But uh, you know, I don't know. We tried to do for a man. This sound effects is called rim shot. It sounded like a rim shot. That does not sound like a rim shot. <laughs> that sounds like a rim shot that I'm getting right there. It's about can do do do. You need the Benny Hill music on there, dude. All right. So <laughs> I you know, I think this episode has ran its course. Shout out to Fisho. I'm down with this fucking mag right here. No bananas. No bananas on the boat, but we put bananas on the boat. Especially Danny. He always brings some type of like like phallic shaped item if it's you know. if it's not a banana yeah. it's some sort of starch uh, no it's something shaped like a wiener oh so okay. i didn't know where you, know you were going mean? with it. i didn't know like where that's going. where it's going that's where it was going right there so you know 
So, we're talking potatoes or something. I didn't know yeah. what was going on. It's like sitcom music. We're going to get out of here. I'll do something cool next time. <laughs> maybe we'll plan. Maybe we won't, you know. But, uh, you know. Fucking, uh, yeah, bro. PCS, everything's coming. Yeah. Bing bong. Whatever we got going. You know, there's nothing else to say. Catch you next time.